Well, the big news breaking during our show today, Brock, not that nobody was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame, although that also happened today during the show, but a few minutes before that, the deal essentially being reached between Maloofs, who own the Kings, and the group that is bringing the Sonics back to Seattle to sell the Kings to Bomber and Hanson, and that group to bring them up here some $500 million. They would play at Key Arena for the next two years and then move into the new arena after that. Obviously, great news here in Seattle. Yeah, nothing but good news here. I think we made a lot of assumptions along the way. I think, unfortunately, in this deal with its political and its city and the NBA and all the people and all the factors involved in it, we have to sit here and we assume, and I think the biggest assumption many of us made was these are smart guys the guy is a hedge fund hedge fund out of San Francisco billionaire millionaire and they don't typically make investments unless they know something behind the scenes and well, and, and, and even beyond that they don't Steve Ballmer doesn't get involved thank unless you they and really the Nordstrom's the don't get involved right. the very smart businessmen typically right. don't put themselves out there in a way unless they have knowledge that none of us none of us have and obviously whether they were assurances from the NBA as I've chatted with Kevin Calabro about whether the new TV deal that the NBA is going to have and they need the 12th biggest market, whether ultimately they knew how desperate the Maloofs were and as long as they were willing to overpay, and they are overpaying, $500 million reportedly for a franchise value of roughly $350 million. So they're doing everything you want an ownership to do and they've shown that here you for You bring it up though, Brock, if you're overpaying by some $150 million and this is going to be one of the top five most valuable franchises now according to Forbes uh, in, in basketball, which means they paid out that much mm -hmm. money. Well, all right, what do you need to do in order to get it back? Well, it may mean ticket prices. We know that the fans are already going to be footing the bill for, for much of the arena development because it's not going to be spread out amongst all the people of the region. So we may see some ticket prices that are a little higher than anybody's excited about. I think a lot of people are willing to take that right now in order to get basketball back. The other thing I think it means, and I sure hope it means, think so? is that the NHL has to be right on the heels of this deal. Are we, are we going to be talking a lot of NHL on Brock? I will be. We're talking blue line, talking about neutral zone trap, we'll be talking about the trapezoid behind the ice, we're going to be talking about the ghoulies, the defensemen. Nice. Absolutely. It's all to come in the next couple of years.